brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Becky G. Rebecca Marie Gomez, better known by her stage name Becky G, is a Mexican-American singer, songwriter, rapper, actress and model. Gomez first gained recognition in 2011, when she began posting videos of herself covering popular songs online. One of her videos caught the attention of producer Dr. Luke, who subsequently offered her a joint record deal with Kemo Sabe Records and RCA Records. While working on her debut effort, Gomez collaborated with artists Wall.i.am, Cody Simpson, and Cher Lloyd. Her official debut single, Becky from the Block, received a positive reception upon its release. She released her debut extended play, Play It Again, later that same year. Her second single, Can't Get Enough, featured guest vocals from Pitbull and went on to top the Latin Rhythm Airplay chart in the United States. Gomez achieved mainstream success with the release of Shower, which went on to enter the top 20 of the Billboard Hot 100 chart. The single would go on to receive a multi-platinum certification from the Recording Industry Association of America, denoting 2 million units sold in the country. Following the success of Shower, Gomez released can't Stop Dancing and Break a Sweat as singles from her forthcoming album. Neither matched the commercial performance of their predecessor. She embarked on a co-headlining tour with J Balvin throughout September and October 2015. Spanning throughout the United States, she portrayed Valentina Galindo in two episodes of the musical television series Empire contributing two new songs to the soundtrack of the series. Gomez was featured on the song, Superstar, with Pitbull. She released her first Spanish single, Sola, which is set to appear on her debut studio album. Gomez portrayed the Yellow Ranger, Trini, in the 2017 superhero film Power Rangers. Her performance was received positively and made universal headlines, being the first queer Power Ranger. 1997-2011, Childhood and Career Beginnings Rebecca Marie Gomez was born on March 2, 1997 and raised in Inglewood, California. She is the daughter of Alejandro and Francisco, Frank, Gomez. She is of Mexican descent. Gomez has two brothers, Frankie and Alex, and a younger sister, Stephanie. Gomez grew up in poverty, and at the age of nine her family lost their home and moved into the converted garage of her grandparents' house due to financial problems. Gomez began working part-time jobs to help support her family, doing commercials and voice overwork. She had what she described as a midlife crisis when she was nine years old and decided she wanted to pursue a music career. She was quoted as stating, that was literally my midlife crisis when I was nine years old. That's when I felt like, okay, I gotta get my life together. What am I gonna do? I pushed that on myself at a younger age than the average kid, because at the time my family had lost our home. I've always been more mature for my age, so I was already understanding what they were going through. And I just thought, how can I help them? She initially attended public school, though had to undergo homeschooling due to issues with bullying. She claimed that at one point she was jumped by multiple girls while in the restroom, and was a frequent target due to her jobs in the entertainment industry. Gomez appeared in the short film Mel Tux as Claudia Gomez, and as Nina in the Discovery Channel television film La Restacion de la Calle Elvara. She became a member of a girl group named GLAM in 2009, and later joined BCG. Another girl group, she filmed a music video as part of GLAM for a song titled Jelly Bean. In 2009, 
During this time, Gomez also began recording herself singing and rapping songs using GarageBand, and created a YouTube account to post covers of popular songs online. She also began writing her own songs, and, by the age of 13 had taught herself how to play guitar. Gomez befriended production duo The Jam when she was 13, who liked Gomez's written work. The trio began working on material together, resulting in the covers of the songs, Otis, Lighters, Novocaine, and Take Care. These songs were meant to be part of a mix ape, titled at its Becky Gomez, though this project never came to fruition. Her cover of Otis caught the attention of renowned producer Dr. Luke, who had worked with artists including Britney Spears and Miley Cyrus, among others. Luke scheduled a meeting with Gomez and asked her to play guitar for him. He later signed her to his Chemos Abe Records record label through RCA Records. In reference to her video clip for Otis, Luke claimed, I would have signed her off that video alone. I was 100% in. She has so much personality and her voice just pops out of the speakers. Then I met her and discovered she could also sing and play the guitar and I thought, this is even better, then I found out she could write and it was like, what else are you going to tell me that you're also Van Gogh? Her potential is limitless. Shortly after signing with the label, Gomez began work on her debut album, 2012-2015 Commercial Success with Music and Acting While working on her debut album, Gomez released her first song, Problem, featuring Wool.i.am, which was subsequently remixed into Problem. For the Sony Pictures animation film Hotel Transylvania, the song served as a promotional single and also appeared in the movie in the end credits. Gomez and Will.i.am filmed a music video for the song. It features both artists in a hotel while scenes from the movie also appear. She is featured on Cody Simpson's song, Wish You Were Here, serviced as the second single from his debut studio album. She worked with Cher Lloyd on the song, Oath which was released as the fourth single from her debut album. The single had some commercial success, becoming Gomez's first song to chart on the Billboard Hot 100. The track was later certified gold by the Recording Industry Association of America, denoting sales of 500,000 copies in the country. Gomez co-wrote Wish You Were Here. And Oath was originally written by her, though the latter was modified. She also worked with Mitchell Tello on a remix of his song, I Shay UTP Go. Gomez is featured on a remix of Kesha's top 10 single, Die Young, alongside Juicy J and Wiz Khalifa. The remix was featured on the Japanese deluxe edition of Kesha's second studio album, Warrior. On April 8, Gomez released Becky from the Block as her official debut single. The song heavily samples the Jennifer Lopez song, Jenny from the Block. Gomez filmed a music video in her neighborhood, with Lopez herself making a cameo in the clip. Entertainment Tonight described the version to have give N. Jenny's NY-based tune a West Coast slant. That May, Gomez released a new song. Play It Again, for digital download. The track served as a promotional single, and was not an official single released by Gomez. On July 13, Gomez released her debut extended play, also titled Play It Again. The album contained five songs on the standard edition, and its name was chosen by Gomez fans. Can't Get Enough, which features a guest rap from Pitbull, was serviced as the lead single from the project. The song went on to top the Latin Rhythm Airplay chart in the United States, marking her first number one single on a Billboard chart. Gomez later filmed a music video 
for the song, built for this, which she directed on her own. She recorded the song, Quiero Baila, with Three Ball MTY, which sees Gomez singing in both English and Spanish. The song was intended to be used for their second studio album. Gomez released the single, Shower, as the initial lead single from her debut studio album on April 23. The single proved to be a success for Gomez, entering the top 20 of the Billboard Hot 100 chart in the United States. The song achieved chart success in numerous other countries as well, most notably reaching number 11 in both Australia and Sweden. The single went on to receive a multi-platinum certification from the Recording Industry Association of America denoting 2 million units sold in the country. Gomez began representing CoverGirl in July 2014. As the spokeswoman for the company, she filmed commercials to promote the brand and featured their products in her music videos. Can't Stop Dancing was serviced as the next single from the album on November 4. The song failed to match the success of her prior single, peaking at number 88 on the Hot 100. Gomez opened for Katy Perry on select dates of her Prismatic World Tour in the United States. Gomez is featured on the song, Como Tu No Hados by Mexican singer Talia. Gomez released a song titled, Love in So Hard, along with a music video consisting of homemade footage of Gomez and Austin Mahone whom she briefly dated. On June 26, Gomez debuted a song titled, We Are Mexico, in solidarity with the Latin community in response to Donald Trump's remarks against illegal Mexican immigrants. She also performed at a tribute concert for the late Jenny Rivera. She released another song, Break a Sweat, the fourth single to be released from her debut album, Gomez embarked on a co-headlining tour with Colombian reggaeton singer J Balvin beginning on September 23rd and ending on October 25th. The tour spanned across the United States. Gomez also released a remix with J Balvin for her single Can't Stop Dancing. She later collaborated with Yellow Claw on the songs Wild Mustang and For the Thrill. She released You Love It as a promotional single prior to the release of her debut album. That same day Gomez was cast as Trini in the film Power Rangers. She also appeared as Valentina Galindo in two episodes of Empire adding the singles, Do It and New, New. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.